probably see <coughs> from the onto the server side, uh, Joseph Alt that there's a, a small porch at the end that was always put into paper just in the back there. If tears could build a stairway, and memories a lane, we would walk our way to heaven and bring you back again. It was put in the paper ready here for Robert, but you'd imagine it would be put in papers for so many people. Not just uh, the youngsters that uh, died that day, but all the folks all the impact I had around this country. I'd like to read a passage from the Book of Romans, the New Testament. Apostle Paul wrote, and We know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God for whom he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his Son, that he might be the first born among many brothers. And those predestined he also called, those called also justified, and those justified he also glorified. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us, how will he along with him not graciously give us all things? Who can bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? And is God who justifies? We can condemn, not Christ Jesus, who is raised to life for our sake, and is at the right hand of God and is interceding for us. So who can separate us from God's love? Shall hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any power, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Gracious Lord, all things are sanctified and enlightened and made perfect by your, your love and power. Be merciful to us and bless us. May your face shine on us, that we may know your pleasure. And may what we do here today bring honour to your name, even as it is done in memory of those who died that tragic day and in particular for them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you who are here have no cause to remember that day in January than I do. I was just a wee boy growing up in an East Coast fishing village. And on that day, so many of you were there, so many of you had family members there. And on that day, when 66 people died, like Robert, 26 of them, who were under 18. 26 under 18. And that's why it makes perhaps this so poignant that it's something that would affect all of you, it would affect the whole country. Just last week when I was speaking to somebody who was, uh, was a member of our church here in, uh, in Pennycook, and she was saying that there were so many stories of unsung heroes in that day that people don't even realise. Her cousin was a wee boy caught in the stairway for and he was lying underneath a big man, a big, mus big muscular guy. And he saw tears running down this man's face because he was lying on top of her cousin, a wee boy, bracing himself. Because even if his way down, her cousin was dead. And there's so many stories like that that we'll never hear in the press. We'll never hear them told. Stories of heroes and stories of the people who were the first ones in there to try and get folks out. Stories of people who had to deal with that. We're here today not just to commemorate Robert, but to commemorate all those heroes, all those people, all that loss. This gift has been given on behalf of Rangers supporters from all around the world. This gift has been worked hard for by Joe. I'm not going to embarrass Joe, but at least eight months, he's our Sergeant Major Joe, sorry, eight months of his life has been taken up with us. Eight months of getting in touch with family and friends. Eight months that has been quite hard for him as well. But probably not as hard as it has been for the family and the people here who have lost loved ones during this. And so, 
It's the thanks and the humility that I would say to Joe, thank you for that you need to dedicate this bench. So who's it dedicated to? We've all got the really good book there. And you'll know from that there's been a, such a, a great story put together about the but Born on the 16th of April, Robert Mulholland, his youngest of three boys. He spent his, his infant time at uh, Beast Street in Martin. And then in the 70s we moved to, to the this exciting place in Drum Chapel. Exciting because it had indoor plumbing. For some of the younger folks, you know, that might bring a smile, but we didn't have to go outside to get the toilet. It was kind of exciting. And it was there that he would spend his younger years with his family, with his two brothers, with his mum and his dad. And it was a good home for them. A home that had hope. A home that had a lot of comfort in it. He would attend the local Pinewood school, and then when the new one was built at Pinewood, he would go there with a whole bunch of his friends. Like a lot of the boys in his time, he grew up with a personality that was formed pretty much by growing up in the... I won't use the phrase Joe used, I've been a little bit. Growing up in the environment that, let's face it, we had to look after our own. I grew up in some of my three years. And he would go on to become a member of the boys' brigade. And that's why I thought this morning to him was so fitting, because Robert knew those lessons, he knew those stories. A lot of people say, in something like that, Rob's disaster. Some point, some of these disasters. Where's God in all that? God's written in the water. Because God loves every one of us. And God won't let anything simple as it was So, was that the boys' brigade that Robert learned these sorts of lessons? And he learned what it was like to, to play the football game, play football in the center pitches. He learned what it was like to, to stand by his mates. He learned what loyalty meant to him and to all of his pals around him. His times on the single pitches, the red ash pitches, we beat him joining the Jed Wood Gunners. And then we continue playing at secondary school. Absolutely amazing for us. His love of football was something that just kept him going all the time. And then of course when he got his apprenticeship, like so many boys in his age, it was, it was a kind of exciting for him. But he still kept on playing football. And that football, that, that passion, that, that, that desire to be involved in Evelyn Men, he did of course become the practical joker when he was doing his apprenticeship. For him to line somebody up, to do something that was going to you know, cause a laugh, was, that's what life was about for him. And of course on that special day, that fateful day, the 2nd of January 1971, with a borrowed scarf, went with some of his friends. And perhaps the old tragedy is he split up, didn't all go down and stay up together. The heartache that you want to experience, the heartache of weeping, the heartache of hunting, going after a child is involved. So it's with thanks on behalf of everybody involved in this event that I would say thank you for being here. Thank you for showing your support. Thank you for remembering the bad memories of not remembering. I would like to invite members of Robert's family to remove the flag. dedicate this bench to the memory of our work and to the memory of those who were there that day who didn't see that day. Dedicate it to the family that loved them, the parents that mourned them. And we ask that God will bless them with such a them. And they will remember that sometimes tragedy strikes at an early age, but they will remember with a smile when their memories go on. And it's these memories that 
performance, it's these memories that perhaps things that I need to do for the rest of their lives. Sometimes things after God still has gifts for us to receive and what we to do. And so to the glory of God, the memory of God, the memory of this page, we would like to invite Alfred to come on to the Just um, before we uh, chat, um, I would just like to uh, go after Jim and go to a couple of gifts that I would like to do. Thank you. 